Hello and welcome, I am your Code Monkey, and in this video we're going to view a summary of the waiting queue from Battle Royale Tycoon series. Let's begin. So the goal in this series is to make a waiting queue as it's used in Battle Royale Tycoon. It is very much inspired by Rollercoast Tycoon, so we have guests going into the queue and moving forward. The queue is set up as a series of positions, and the guests enter the queue if there is space on the queue. When the one in front is called to enter the building, all the others move forward to the next position. So first we're going to start off by making our waiting queue class. It will have the necessary base information for the queue behavior, so a list of positions and guests in the queue. It will also have functions to add guests to the queue and get the guest waiting in front. Then we're going to add events to our waiting queue class. Events will let us keep our code nice and clean by providing an easy way for the building that is connected to the queue to be notified when a guest is added or reaches the front of the queue. Then we're going to create a test building with a simple interaction to see how we connect a building to the waiting queue. So when the waiting queue notifies the building that a guest is waiting in front, the building will request that guest, he will go to a position, do an action and leave the building. When he leaves, the next one waiting in front will be called and so on. After that, we're going to add functions to modify the positions in our queue. So we will be able to modify the queue in runtime by adding more positions, making it easy to create a custom queue shape. And finally, we're going to create a AI to handle each guest in the queue. It will be a very simple class that will be responsible for moving the guest inside the queue and handling any extra behavior whilst inside the queue. So that's the plan for the waiting queue in Battle Royale Tycoon series. It features some interesting logic and some nice clean code. It will start off very simple by thinking of all the elements that make up a queue, and by the end we will have a complete queue in a clean class that can be applied to anything we want. So go watch the playlist and begin learning right now. As always you can download the project files and utilities for each video in the series from unitycodemonkey.com. If you have any questions post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.